Today, we finally begin the final four of the winner's bracket in our seven-team double elimination tournament. The dark blue jerseys fresh off a win against the black jerseys in round one, and the orange jerseys fresh off a W against the green jerseys, a game in which they were underdogs. They're made up of the Broncos, the Bengals, and the Browns. Meanwhile, the dark blue jerseys are made up of the Bears, the Patriots, the Seahawks, Texans, Titans, and Cowboys. So Prescott in this squad have the advantage twice as many teams make up their squad they're 92 overall Gino Tanny behind him Derrick Henry at running back Pollard Walker Damian blasting game at fullback Metcalf Lockett Moore the new Chicago Bear Juju the new Patriot Cooks the new Cowboy along with CD Schultz at tight end O-line's phenomenal defense is somehow even better Parsons leading away you have Wagner back in Seattle Judon Edmonds Edwards, Adams and Byard at safety. You have Diggs and Gilmore at cornerback. You can see why the Dark Blues are in this position. They're stacked on both sides of the ball. Kicker, they have Jason Myers, punter Brian Anger. But they might just have to chase the orange jerseys from behind. Remember, they got off to a great start against the green jerseys. Jamar and Burrow, that nasty connection. You have Chubb, Mixon, Javante, Samaji. I mean, the wide receiver core is already one of the best in the tournament. Amari, Judy, Boyd, Burton at fullback, and Jaku. O-line's very solid. They're only one overall less with three less teams, man. Just to show you how much talent are on these three squads. Garrett, Sertain, Denzel. No reason why they cannot give the dark blue jerseys all they can handle. Kick Pearson, Boyorquez. This one's for a spot in the final game of the winner's bracket. Let's see who comes out on top. Navy Blues start off with the football. Dak and the shotgun. First play, they went to Gasicki. This time it's Henry getting tackled. Orange jerseys have a chance to get off the field this is how they got up early against the green jerseys got a nice stop from their defense can they do it again Dak gets hit and he throws it out of bounds they're gonna punt they're showing you how to win games in crucial situations you need a good run game you need a good defense and you need a great quarterback they have everything you need mixing dragon folks close to the first down to second and one burrow just taking what the defense is giving them very underrated aspect of his game bunch to the right second and seven here comes the blitz and it forces Burrow to throw an errant pass right as I was praising him. He's gonna make the tackle to prevent the pick six, but Trevon Diggs with his third INT of the tournament does it again for the Navy Blues without abilities, people. Like, we turned off superstar abilities. This man is just having himself a great tourney. Great opportunity for the Dark Blues to get at least three points on this drive. Henry on his second carry getting nowhere. If they can shut down him, Pollard, in this run game, then the Orange jerseys have a great chance chance to stay in the game no matter what third down and eight deck on the run gonna find Lockett but he can't hold on and Myers is gonna give them the lead orange jerseys have to be thrilled that they only gave up three Burrow's known to have a short-term memory so I don't expect him to play any differently look at that pass right they're going deep what a catch by T Higgins chub up the gut Getting a nice game. Biggest run of the game for him. That was his first run of the game as you begin quarter number two. Orange jerseys down 3-0, but not for long. If Burrow keeps finding Mixon, now it's first and goal. Toss. I don't know about that play call. The dark blue jersey swarming to him. Judon with the tackle for a loss. Backing them up nine yards. Unbelievable job, but oh, that's a great play call. Mixon shaking off a tackler, fumbles the ball inside the five. Another turnover from the orange jersey. Three step drop for Dak. Third down and six. He's going to find his receiver. Lockett holds on this time. I can remember vividly in their first game, he was going to their Seahawks receivers a lot and having a ton of success. So I don't expect him to go away from that duo. Metcalf joins the action. Four man rush. Dak going to find his tight end. It's another fumble. What a play by. Newsom stripping it and recovering, keeping his orange jerseys in the game. Third down, they're gonna run the ball. What is that play call, man? Potentially another three and out for the dark blues. Let's see what happens. Dak gonna step up, he's gonna take off and he's gonna get the first down. I was surprised he didn't slide. I, I was a little reckless right there, but right now they're pretty much in field goal range. Cannot afford to take a sack. He gets rid of it right into the hands of the orange jerseys. DB two turnovers apiece. 
piece. JOK with the INT. Now can Burrow finally get some points on the board? There you go. They're in field goal range. And here it is to tie the ball game at three apiece, heading into half number two. This slop fest of a game continues in the second half with the orange jerseys. Starting off with possession. First and ten, another empty backfield. Burrow going to complete the pass to Njaku. It's now third and three. I'm surprised they haven't gone to Chubb. I think he only has like one run on the game for 16 yards. They need to get him going. But right now, Burrow needs to get the first. And he's going to Njaku with the nice catch. This time, Burrow dumps it off to his receiver. Jamar with his first catch of the game, getting them into field goal range for Kick Fearson. You got to start thinking three at least. It's been a field goal game the entire time. But Njaku's taking over on this drive. And once again, no Chubb in the backfield. They're, they're relying on Burrow. And right now, he's uh, he's making the defense pay another nice pass. Gonna bring up a third down and two. Crucial play right here. Can we finally get our first touchdown of the game? Burrow to the end zone. Incomplete. Almost intercepted. And they're gonna go for it. What is going on? Fourth down and two. Will they finally give Chubb another carry? Yes. His third one of the game goes for a first down. Right now, it's a first and goal at the five. Burrow escape in the pocket. Find a wide open receiver. Unjaku gives the orange jerseys the lead all the pressures on the dark blues to come back with a touchdown drive of their own oh. that's how you start off Paolo with the nice juke he's off to the races across midfield out of bounds at the 33 and now Myers is gonna try to cut the lead by three points and he does burr on this offense gotta be thinking just two clock but no he's gonna start off with another pass to Njaku third down and three after a couple chub runs Mixon's in a game big opportunity for the navy blue jerseys and they get the pick another cowboys cornerback stefan gilmore with an int Dak with all kinds of time again stepping up this time is completed to cd has to be four down territory right like a field goal does nothing this late in the game oh here comes the blitz Dak gonna find lock it staying oh, in bounds tiptoeing oh, his yeah. way for the toddy oh. the dark blues take the lead third down and 10 trips to the left levels is the play call he's gonna find the receiver who gets his face mask pulled tack on 15 bobby wagner has to do better costly mistake after costly mistake by both of these teams to keep the other team in it man this is crazy you would think they're in field goal range already so just no more sacks no turnovers and you're good but that's a dot on jaku once again with the touchdown orange jerseys take the lead phenomenal finish to this one you're enjoying the destroy that like button man does Dak have a game winning drive in store for us first pass is complete to his former tight end Dalton Schultz who's now with the Texans second passes to Metcalf this looks like it could be Hail Mary already like it's a little too early for the Hail Mary man okay maybe I don't know what I'm talking about let's just see what happens Dak gonna throw it deep oh, and it's complete that. what a catch they're gonna have one more chance I was completely expecting that to be a drop but Dalton Schultz keeps their hopes alive no more timeouts can't take a sack Garrett chasing him Dak throws it out of bounds and here it is a trip to the championship game in the winner's bracket comes down to the last play DK gets his hands on it but he can't bring it down the orange jerseys pull off another upset this is a Cinderella story both quarterbacks did not have their best performances man there was a lot of yards a lot of crazy plays run games were non-existent except for Pollard's big run Dak had a nice scramble and yeah that was pretty much it when it came to the ground games Dalton Schultz kept his team alive but they could not capitalize in the red zone man if you guys want to see the next game the second game of the final four please join the like button subscribe for new and I'll see you on the next one like I hit the jackpot he don't want to catch a fade I'ma really get him black dot he ain't really about that life better breathe for you fat bop steady rocking with the stripes I'ma really get him checked everybody get it checked everybody get it bass will it end will it last bring the cars going fast please don't say you wanna be friends in my dreams we play pretend maybe I can love you and listen listen with